Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to create our building. So what we're gonna do today? Uh, the first thing we will create finally our sliding doors and second we will uh, place our uh, furniture and maybe we will create some white portal and uh, on the uh, roof level. So let's get started. So let's go for example to the uh, level one. So as you can see now I'm uh, on the level one and I can see my grids. But if I will go to the second level, I cannot see my grids, even third level, third level and roof. We cannot see the grids. So what's going on? And now I will explain what's going on here, like uh, for the noobs. Uh, let's go to the level uh, one again. And uh, as you know, the grids, it's not just a, uh, it's not just a line. This is a plane. So this is mean it's 3D. I will go now to the 3D and I'll show you what's going on here. So if I will now set, my, for example, the grid number A, let's say, I'll say OK. And now I, I will try to show you. Let's show you. You can see my grid A, it's not a line, it's plane, the vertical plane, as you can see. So let's say I'll change, for example, from the grid line, uh, grid A to the grid B, you can see now it's that one. It's also the line. I mean, it's also the plane. So now you understand uh, your grids, it's not just a line. So let's go back to the set, the previous one. I want to I wanna use, for example, level one. And you can see this is also the plane. So here we are. Now you understand that thing. And let's go to the east view. And now everything is going to be clear. As you can see, all my grids from the A to the D, uh, it's lower than my level. So it's not, we don't have any intersection between two of that things. You can see the level two is here, but the my uh, grid finishing below this level. So uh, if I want to see my grids, I need to uh, intersect it. So I mean, uh, we need to change the position. So let's change the position for our grids. Uh, first, I need unpin it. Let's unpin it. And after that, let's put it a bit um, higher than my, uh, than my uh, building. So and after that, I'll pin it again. So everything OK. Let's go now to the level two. Now you can see the my grids. So my grid is here. Level 3, we still can see my grids. Level 4, also the my grids is here. And roof level, we can see my grids too. So uh, now you know how it's working. And this is same thing also for the our levels. If you cannot see your levels, so your levels don't uh, do not uh, intersect your grids. Just be careful with that things. I think enough uh, theory, so we will back to the, our building and now we will uh, do the our portal light on the roof. As you can see, if I will show you, uh, let's, I'll show you some plan. Let's go to the first level, we have the, the plan, <laughs> something like a plan. You can see uh, on the roof we have the uh, lighting portal here. So what, what we're gonna do, we will uh, create now uh, the lighting portal and after that we will create here the our glass uh, curtain wall uh, i mean the glass curtain panels so let's start uh, for that of course we should go to the our roof plan let's go to the roof plan here the, our roof plan and the first thing uh, i cannot see where is going where, where it should be uh, we have like few ways to create it. So I will choose uh, the some strange way, but it's only up to you guys. Uh, I'm really lazy today, so I will use the strange way. It's not. It it doesn't mean this is bad way, but uh, you can find more clear way. So I will just the, uh, choose some lines, and I will make the angle between this that things, and I want one more line here, and I will just copy it. So control Z and I'll just copy these lines. So uh, let's copy like this. It's okay. Just unselect that one, copy it, delete, go back to the roof level, paste it here. And now I know where should be my gap. So I will use command move. Let's use the command move. Command move from that angle to that one. 
As I said, it's a bit strange way, but it's only up to you. If you no wanna um, copy here your plan or something else, so you can do like this. So for example, I don't need now this uh, section. I will just use double HH. So let's use a double HH, and you now will hide it. But it's only temporary hide, so you not will hide it uh, in your project. You just it's uh, doing temporary only for this view. Okay, so we have here the um, something like uh, drawing, uh, I mean, outline our portal. So we will create it now. How we will do that? We will just go to the uh, to the roof, uh, to the to roof, and here we will choose our slope glazing. So you will find it here. So let's choose it. This is slope glazing, and now you can see. Just uh, uh, look at uh, the modify. You can see now we are on under modify create roof footprint. So uh, till you not will finish this uh, footprint, you not able to do anything. Just be careful with that. So if all this window is not active, you should finish your uh, footprint or you should cancel it. Don't forget about it. Okay. So let's go back to the, uh, for example, I will choose the rectangular because I 100% sure this is rectangular one. And let's do the, this is rectangular. You can see now we have something strange uh, near with this line. You can see these angles. So these angles mean uh, if, uh, if we are using the slope for this line, how we can understand we are using slope or not. Just select one of the line and you can see here defense slope so this mean for this line we are using now slope 30 percent as you can see here if i will switch off you can see this is straight line so what does mean uh if we are using slopes for let's say for this line and this line we will get that shape if we are using for this line and let's say mm, let's say if you are using only for the one line yeah to understand better for this line only we will get slope like this now i think everything clear okay so we have like st by standard uh, 30 degree for each this line i think this is okay for me and they'll say just okay let's say okay uh, now i will delete this uh, lines i don't need it anymore and as you can see we get something like that if i will go to 3d you will clearly understand what we get here so we get our lighting portal but still you can see the uh we get the lighting portal but my uh, my floor now covering this uh thing so we should create here the um, gap I will just go to the boundary and I will create it uh, the, from the peak lines. So I will create one line, place the my line, one line. I just using now tab key. Don't forget about tab key. It's really helpful. And one more here. Let's do here. Now I'm using tr command because I'm not sure is it okay or not because we should get uh, totally closed lines. And I'll say okay. Always say no. We don't want to connect our floor with our roof. No. So we get our things. Now I'll switch off. And as you can see, this is uh, just clear glazing without any imposts. So let's create the, our mullions. Where is our mullions? So as you can see, none any mullions. And I will use, for example, that one square one. So I mean the 30 degree, 30 millimeters square one for every, everything. So let's do it for everything and one more. And I'll say OK. And as you can see, we get what we want, our lighting portal. OK, we finish with uh, that lighting portal. Now let's back to the our mm, to the our doors. Let's switch off back to the, for example, uh, our level one, and I want to check where we have the slope door. Uh, so I can see level three. Okay, let's go to the level three, and let's say its door will be here, right? Let's check it out. Yes, this is door will be here. Uh, I just need the size of this door. I think it's 700, so it's 800. Okay, uh, and let's do this door. Uh, we have the few ways we can modify the 
a new one door, I mean the um, sum of the door what we already have, or we can create this uh, from the zero. Uh, I think better will be the second way for now. Let's go to the file, let's go to the new, let's find here the, uh, oh sorry, uh, file, new, new family, and now we, we will find here the metric door, let's find them is the door we will find already metric door make sure you cho you choose just metric the door not metric door curtain wall because this is door for only for the curtain walls we need only the door let's use it uh, now we are inside the family and now we can create our family as you understand we need only the few things we need only the box of our the door i will use the extrusion for this uh, situation and i will draw it somewhere here now, as you can see, I no matter about ways where I'm placing this, I need only the size of this door and the thickness of this door. So the size of this door, we will create the parameter. Let's make the parameter not instance type one, and we will call like we door uh, panel. Let's say this is uh, like door panels. Okay, and let's do the same thing for this parameter, but we will change W to the L parameter. Let's say okay, let's say okay. And we need one more parameter, the height. Uh, here the extrusion and we will change it to the new parameter, like the height of the door. Let's say okay, and let's say okay again. And now we will choose the material for this door. Uh, I recommend you use the, uh, for example, plastic. So let's create the new parameter, create the new material, identify, and I'll write here the plastic. Plastic. Let's say OK. And what we need now, we need to go to the uh, to the uh, browser, uh, after the browser of the material, and find here the plastic. So let's raise our plastic. So ABC plastic. So this is what I want. Double click on that. Just close. And you now will see. Now we will change to the plastic. So let's say OK. Now this is plastic door. Let's say OK here again. Now we will change the height and the thickness of our door here inside uh, the uh, family parameter. Let's change this parameter to here and this one to the to the that side because I want to make it uh, close to the each other. So the W parameter we know we want to create like seven uh, eight hundred fifty millimeters. Uh, L parameter is will be like uh, twenty five. No, it's twenty five. Not enough. Let's make the fifty millimeters. It will be okay. Let's apply and we will see. Yeah, fifty millimeters okay. And the height will be same as the height of that one, but I want to check it one more time. I will go to 3D because in 3D it's better to understand. I will change the lines to the thin lines because I want to see only the thin lines and I will change the scale to the 1 to the 5. It's okay. So, uh, okay, uh, let's go to the exterior view. Now we will see the clear. So, yeah, yeah. The my height it's to the clear height it's not with the uh, my um, frame it's to the clear high so that means i can make the parameter high equal to the parameter high the panel so where's my panel let's make it equal and as you can see this is same now the same height now okay but uh let's go back to the our uh, level floor plan i mean uh family floor plan and now i will use one more parameter di to this one thing so uh let's create like two. no before i will do that i need the reference line or let's make one more reference plane this is more better like this i will use command align like this and i will align it so I will change back now the uh, the thickness of my door to the 50. I will apply it. And now I will use command DI to the make this thing. So as you can see, it's 75 millimeters. I want to change to the 50 millimeters only. No, my, even, even less, maybe 30 millimeters. So this is what I want, as you can see. Okay, so and one more thing. Uh, I want to make two positions. I want to make the position closed and position open. For that thing, I need again command align or command dimension. Uh, 
And if I will use, for example, this situation, I want my I can make the confused thing. For example, here will be 250. And so it's you cannot say anything. So 100 I will do. No, it's not will be confused because uh, inside this family we already have door panel. So we not will change it. Uh, we will just change this position open. Uh, let's make like this. Open. Closed. Or uh, distance. Distance door i will show you one tricky thing one tricky thing so let's make it the uh, distance door it's okay let's... and now let's go back inside uh, again our um, properties i'll go inside and one thing you can see the width of our door it's uh, 100 1000 millimeters but of our balance it's only 800 of uh, 850 millimeters so what we're gonna do the same thing with the height so we will do like this i'll show you so and if you for example need distance 300 millimeters okay we can do it 800 millimeters so the distance is here okay done so let's load it inside our project so here we are and let's place our model as you can see we can change direction uh, as previous uh, as we can do with all the our families and let's place it somewhere here so we are we did it and as you can see so this is our door so let's check it out so this is our door as you can see the same thing let's place this door on the uh, one more level on the level four let's go to the level four and as you can see on this side it will be here let's place a door here i don't want to save right now just i'm using the space bar for that one and let's place the door somewhere here it's not the right i'll change the position like this and let's i'll check the the size of this door i'm not sure is it 800 or no yes it is 800 millimeters but now our door is 1000 millimeters let's change it uh, under edit type the without door i will change to the 850 850 millimeters let's say okay so now our door is smaller and i want to change one more thing i want to change the how it's opening opening uh, now weighs our distance of the door i will change to the only 500 millimeters let's say okay so this is everything okay now if I will go now back to the level 3, you will see the same changes. So, everything the same. Okay, so we did in this lesson doors. We d I, show, I already showed to you how to work in the grids in Revit. And we did the lighting portal under the roof. So, we will continue in the next time. But for today, it's finished. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad. Check that my store. There you can find a bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.